This is my uh, automatic CBD egg collector. Uh, you can see there, I'll just explain how it works. There's a soft drink bottle cut in half, there's moss in there. And then below that, pretty hard to see, there's a grill, which just came from a breeder box. Can't really focus on that. And then what happens is the CPDs will um, spawn in the moss. You can see some in the background there. And then the eggs will drop into the grill, into here. And then I've got an airline tube fitting into this tube, which causes the water to circulate down through the moss and the tubing and up here. Then into the breeder box. Now, this has been running a few days now, and you probably can't see, but there's, well, maybe you can see, there's probably about 50 to 100 eggs in there in the last few days. So it works quite well. And then, what I do after about a week, I move. I swap the box and just let them there, leave them there to hatch. Once they get bigger, and then I'll move them into a, a grower tank, which is further down here. This is my other uh, CPT breeder. This is a 20 litre tank, or almost a five gallon tank. And it's a bit dirty at the moment. I need to give it a clean with algae because it gets full sun here. But anyway, I've got a 3 printed a breeding truck there, got the moss in there, and then I've divided the tank into another section, which is the hatchery, there, and you can just see a hole there, which is uh, the back of the breeding trap, and what happens is the CBDs will breed in the, in the moss here, the eggs will fall through the grill, and be sucked into this section where the eggs can sit down the bottom and hatch without being eaten. And that's a bit hard to see, but there are some eggs there. And what's causing that suction is this sponge filter here, which just draws water into the hatchery and then returns it back into the main section, the breeding section. And you can see that the water level is not the same there, showing that there is some circulation uh, the, the the sponge filter is is pushing more into the breeding section than is being returned. So sometimes you can can't really see the water flow. Sometimes you see uh, the fish swim through it and they get pushed around by the flow there. I've just emptied this section here. I had about probably 50 fry in there, and I've just moved them to a grower tank. So you only, I didn't catch all of them, so you can probably see one or two there. I think it's about 10 or 15 I didn't catch. Didn't worry about it, they were small. Um, I find that if you don't move them, then they'll either eat the eggs, the bigger fry will eat the eggs, or they'll eat each other. They're really cannibalistic, the CPDs. So this also works really well, but um, yeah, it, gets, it does get full sun. So you can sort of see the sun comes through there in the afternoon and um, yeah it's causing a bit of problems with the algae so I might give it a empty and clean out next week um, but it doesn't seem to bother the fish um, there you go